As opposed to think that the universe is dead matter, we begin to suspect that it's actually permeated with intelligence. The struggle is, well, then what does it mean? What does it mean? There are different interpretations. And I am simply saying that one interpretation is that the universe itself knows what it's about. Sri Aurobindo sees the entire cosmic advance as a progressive disclosure of the divine nature, which involved itself in the Big Bang, in the creation of matter itself. If we observe a material process of evolution, we can also observe a process of gradual evolution of consciousness. We have to call on the next step in evolution, the next power that will govern human consciousness. One way or another, either we change into something else or we are not gonna make it. The perversities of the system that exist today are right up in our face and we have these life-threatening situations. It's quite common for deep transformations of consciousness to require a kind of near-death experience. And that, in fact, is what we and the entire Earth community are on the verge of experiencing. My youth was kind of taken away. Boom, down, gone. So that, by definition, is, is a spiritual kick up the bum. If you go deep enough, you really find that there is genuine sense for beauty discovery of uh, the divine within, we can experience ourselves as something much higher, much more beautiful than we are aware of in our everyday state of consciousness. It's really important to wake up to that love that is the true nature of our soul. Love, if that's really who we are at our core, the deeper we can understand that, the more we can participate in the rest of the universe, in its evolution and our own evolution simultaneously. We have to take this next step. We have to evolve into a greater state of consciousness. Our challenge is to reinvent the human so that we participate with the enveloping intelligence and wisdom that gave birth to us. How can we make our evolution a matter of conscious pursuit? <laughs>